Activision presents a smashing blast from the past. Welcome everybody to the DSL Gaming Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy. And this is part eight. And last time we left off, we have collected all of the regular gems as well as getting the alternate ending. And so, depending on how well I do on Stormy Ascent, this could end up being the final part of the Let's Play of the first Crash Bandicoot. Yes, so before we fight Dr. Neo Cortex, let's go to Stormy Ascent. The hard level, the DLC level, or rather, so to speak, Hint, good luck. You're gonna need it. <laughs> oh, I love that. Anyway, so for those of you who don't know, Stormy Ascent was a level that was originally in development during the first Crash Bandicoot game, but it ended up ultimately being caught in the final game due to it being too hard. And so people were able to unlock it through like modding of the PlayStation original and they were able to reinstate it back in. And so when Activision um, re-released and remade the trilogy, um, they included this level as a bonus. Rather, it was DLC for the PlayStation 4 version, but it came pretty much for free when you got the uh, multi-plat version for the Xbox One, for the Switch, and for the PC. Yeah, so, so far, so good. And I think soon enough, well, I mean, already, I think you'll start to see that platform nearly pushing me off while bouncing on the Wumpa Fruit. That's a little bit of what makes this level hard, but also the fact that these move so damn fast. I mean, this is one where you really gotta time it. But I guess one good thing about this is that this is not one of those levels that where you have to play through it without dying in order to earn a special gem. So I can, so I can get as many checkpoints as I want and I can die just about as many times as I want. Not that I want to. Well, I gotta say, I'm actually doing very well. I'm I'm quite impressed, actually. It'll be interesting to see if I can uh, actually finish this level in one go. Kind of doubt it, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, now here's a really easy place to fall off. Okay, well, I actually made it through that. Yeah, wow, I can't believe how, how good I'm doing. Okay, so now if I can just get past that, that's a relatively easy part to die at. Oh, and then there's these. These go pretty fast. Oh, and then on top of, on top of going on these platforms, you also have to avoid that scientist guy. Oh, and this is the part where I died many times. Yeah, just jump past that. And then you have these steps to worry about and then jump past this too. All right, this is this is really easy to get hit. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, good, made it. All right, and this is so, doesn't help that these, that these steps are so fast moving that it's really, really, e really easy to get hit. And then we have this part. Oh, isn't this gonna be wonderful? Okay, and now we have an Embryo face token, and that leads us to the bonus. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Real fun. This may be the hardest Embryo bonus out there, but who knows? Okay, and now to blow this up. There we go, all right. Yeah, I think this one I have fallen many times before, but Anyway, I'll try to get across here. Okay, so far so good. This is 
Yeah, oh, and then there's this part, which I think I've died a number of times on. All right, so blow up that TNT. And once that happens, then that'll activate these two platforms. All right, come on, get up there, get up there, come on, good. Ah, God damn it! Well, isn't this just wonderful? All right, well, guess I gotta do it again. This time I gotta really be mindful of those uh, boxes that were on top. There we go. And a few lives to boot. Yeah, just gotta time this. Come on, get up there. There we go. All right, and now to break these. Very good. All right, and now to jump on these boxes. Bouncing real high. And now, uh, if I can get these boxes. There we go. Ha ha. Oh shit. Well, is this uh, where? All right, 22 boxes, five lives. We are good to go. All right, so we made it to the embryo bonus without the uh, without dying uh, before I got there, which is surprising, very surprising. Oh, and here's a really easy part to die. Yeah, not only getting hit by that, by the spikes on top, but also really easy to get blown up by by that uh, by that scientist guy. Okay, yeah, so it seems that I gotta do this from the other side. Yeah, that's much better to do. Oh yeah, here are these really rapid moving platforms. Okay, come on, can I make it? There we go. Man, I can't believe how far I've gotten without dying. It's amazing. I may end up actually getting lucky on this after all. Okay. Oh boy, now this is really easy to fall. Oh man, I can't believe I made it. I can't believe I made it, oh my God. Okay, gotta get up there. And then we have these move, these fast moving steps. Made it up there, good, very good. Come on, come on, gotta step on these. There we go. And another checkpoint. Oh my God, I can't believe I made it this far. Okay. All right, well, this part, I think I'm likely going to trip up. Oh, yeah, here is where, oh, man. Yeah, this is where you really have to, like, get the alignment and the timing just right. Oh, and then there's this part. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, man. This is the part that always, ah, god damn it, and I died again. Well, so much for my perfect streak. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, but this just kind of trips me up. All right, now if I can just, there we go. All right. Yeah, this is, oh God, like this is, I think you have to like really time it right where, you know, you step on one and then like right before it, right before it slides back, then you step on the other one. Well, I was close. God damn it! Ah, I always keep, I always keep forgetting that. Keep forgetting about that explosive that gets thrown at me. All right, now if I can just wait for that eagle. All right, come on, come on. Oh my God. I keep doing that. How, why do I keep doing that? All right, well, I got an Aku Aku mask. That should help me with proceeding. Okay, come on, gotta step on that eagle. There we go. All right. Yeah, this part. Ah, yeah. Okay. Well, 
Got the Aku Aku Mask again. So, don't get hit by that scientist guy. Same with that eagle. Alright, come on, gotta step on that eagle. There we go. Alright, now to step on those platforms. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, hey! Oh my god, I actually survived that part. Well, except, I mean, I didn't survive getting on that other one, but I could but I couldn't believe it. Oh my god, that was incredible. Alright, now to step on these eagles. Are you serious? Okay, well, got another Aku Aku mask. Okay, and now on that eagle. Same with this one. Yep, yeah, and then we have this part. Yeah, well that, yeah, well I didn't manage to survive that, but you know, losing an Aku Aku mask, that's not so bad. All right, and now to step on these eagles. Come on, can I do it? Oh, come on, can I make it? Oh yes, I made it. And here we go, I'm at the end, yes. And it looks like I'm gonna be receiving Yep, that gem, the bonus gem, what I call. Yeah, 98% complete. Ooh, 101, all right. So we are at 101% complete. We're almost done, ladies and gentlemen. There's just one more thing we gotta do now, and that is the final battle. The grand battle with Dr. Neo Cortex. Yeah, so you see that I have 27 out of 26. That was a bonus gem that I got. So yeah, here we go. Dr. Neo Cortex. Certain energy bolts can be deflected back at him. Here we go. You crash bandicoot. Ah. Yeah, and then, oh, okay, well, disintegrated in one shot. That wasn't a good start, but oh well. Yeah, so basically it's just got to avoid the purple particles, and I have to deflect back at the yellow ones. Come on, there we go. All right, and then there is more. Yeah, so just gotta watch out for the sideways ones. All right, there we go, there's one. Oh, God damn it. Okay, yeah, so I have to get one other. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, well, it's what I gotta keep doing to avoid getting disintegrated. Ah, and I got disintermigrated it again. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot! <laughs> All right, there's one. All right, now to get the next two, because that is how you defeat Cortex. Yeah, I mean it's a little bit like the final Zelda boss fights where in Zelda, when you fight Ganondorf or Ganon or whoever, um, then you kind of use your sword to deflect a lot of his attacks back at him. It's a little bit like this. Yeah, I just gotta, yes, there's one, and I think I have to get two more, two more of the yellow particles. There's another. And one more! Ha ha! Alright, two more hits left to go. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh my god, come on! Yes, alright, there's one! There's one! Come on! Let's get another one! Ha ha! Alright, there should be just one more, come on! Oh wow! Okay! So that, alright, so that was a really quick one. And this wasn't too hard either.
All right, and here we go. The final ending. Yep, and so Crash saves Tana from the clutches of Dr. Neocortex, but this isn't the last we see of him because he will be back in Crash Bandicoot 2. But of course, um, I'm actually, it's actually gonna be a little bit before I get back to Crash Bandicoot 2, because after this video, I'm gonna be going back to playing Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. But for now, let's enjoy the credits. Look at a lot of the people who worked on it. And there is Vicarious Visions, the the development company of Crash Bandicoot, the Yensen Trilogy. By the way, you know another fun fact about um, Vicarious Visions is that they also worked on the Game Boy Advance Crash Bandicoot games. I mean, I remember owning the huge adventure for the Game Boy Advance. Um, wasn't a great game, honestly, but it was like, but it was interesting to see like a lot of the levels from Crashes 2 and 3 kind of like being um, cut down and um, made into a bit of a 2D side scroller um, on, on the Game Boy Advance. And also, like, they converted a lot of the 3D, uh, the 3D models into 2D sprites, kind of basically using the same method that Nintendo used for Donkey Kong Country. Or rather, I would say that Rare, um, uh, developed Donkey Kong Country more than Nintendo did. Yeah, and here we start getting some of the Crash Bandicoot 2 music. Additional development support from Toys for Bob. Yeah, that is the company that worked on the multi-plat versions, particularly the, particularly the Switch version. And hey, a very special thanks to Naughty Dog, the original developers of Crash Bandicoot. And a super special shout out to the original Crash Bandicoot team members who worked on the first three games.
Ah, huh. and I love how this credits mention so uh, Sony Interactive Entertainment, who also published the original Crash Bandicoot games. But it's interesting seeing that in the PC version. And yes, that part of the credits was also in um, the Switch version as well. And also, this is interesting too. Looking at a lot of the um, a lot of the time trial scores that's being printed in the credits from the from I guess the staff that worked on the game. That's pretty cool, actually. I like it. Ha! No bandicoots were harmed in the creation of the game. Alright, and there we go. That is the credits, and that is the end of the first Crash Bandicoot game. And for that, this is where I officially conclude the Let's Play of the first Crash Bandicoot game. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Yeah, so thank you everybody for watching and stay tuned in the next video where I will go back to Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. And then once I get the next two crystal stars in that game, then I will go back to the Insane Trilogy and start playing Crash Bandicoot 2. So thank you everybody and I will see you in the next video.